so many people are fighting phantoms. They're looking for the magic formula to make everything better in their life. And then once everything falls into place the way they deem it should be, now they're ready to do what the Lord has called them to do. They're ready to take their talents out of the dirt, the earth, which represents the flesh. Don't you see it? It's so prophetic. He buried his talent in the earth, the world, the flesh. So when you bury your talents in your flesh, you can't please God. So, it's not the absence of problems. God's grace is sufficient. His power is made perfect in weakness. So what does that tell you? It's not the absence of problems. It's not when you're strong, then you have power. No. It's when you're going through problems, adversity, is when you're powerful. See, people read the Bible, they don't see that. Because they'll come and they'll tell me certain things, and I'll know... That they're missing the point. See, we want to be comfortable. But manifest sons of God understand. When you're comfortable. God is not moving. God's not manifesting. You're not growing. <laughs> if you have it all figured out, look in the mirror. That's who your God is. If God is normal to you, by your reasoning, again, you become your own God. You have a idol of self. So we delight ourselves in problems. We're thankful for hardships. I'm encouraged when I'm not comfortable because I know his power is moving. I see his spirit manifested. I know I'm on the right track. So that way when people see the power of God, they know it's not me. It's not my wise and persuasive words. It's not by my intellectualism, my charismatic personality, how I look, how much money I have, how big my church is. It's because of God manifest in me. And God loves to manifest in the weak. Meaning, you're a fool. You're weak in your flesh. So, you have come to the end of yourself. You realize you can't do it. You stop striving from your flesh. Try to figure God out through your, your intellect. Your finite trying to figure out the infinite, right? Stop trying to do it your own way, putting God's name on it. And you realize you're a fool and you know nothing except for Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And you're weak in your flesh and can do nothing without His help. And you quit trying to run from problems 
looking for the easiest way out but you face your problems head on not because you're going to try to figure it out or your strength will overcome that problem but because you know once you get there once you put your fo foot in the Jordan it's going to open up for you once you realize watch the salvation of the Lord and then the the sea opens up once you start having faith in him and not in your own abilities you start to see God manifest more and more the end of the war we are in constant war but by his grace by his drink I can be drunk and heavily intoxicated in it so that way I'm ready for battle I'm prepared to do whatever he wants even lose my life physically as well as reputation wise <clears throat> so his grace allows you to overcome all problems in your life and then like I said when you have a manifest healing in your life a doc like a documented healing that you have sustained and you keep that healing or you're delivered and you're healed you're delivered and you are free and you remain free then you're like praise God I got healed I got delivered but you're not searching your whole life for the healing Turn to your first love. Seek your first love. Desire Him. Desire to have intimacy with Him. Become a foolish thing, and then He will make you a sign and a wonder. You're looking for signs and wonders, but in these last days, He wants to make you a sign and a wonder. A sign and a wonder to your family. When you keep on overcoming, every attack on your life they keep falling down but they see you facing adversity but yet you overcome you're in the deepest of waters but you never drown So, God wants you to be a testimony. He wants you to be a sign and a wonder of His grace, His provision, His power, His love, His mercy. But He needs you to say, I'll do it. But how are you going to do it if you don't want any problems? If you don't want to have to fight? How is he going to use you to be a sign of the wonder to your family? The people at your work? You can't hide in the church. You can't hide behind your pastor. You need 
to fully mature and be a manifest son of God. You need to manifest your talent. need to mature but you mature by battle you're an overcomer you must fight and overcome daily many things and as you do this you're mature You have to overcome. You have to believe that you're an overcomer. And then you have to overcome the giants that are stopping you from your promised land.